Welcome to another one of my videos. My name is Chris, and here we have another fun problem involving right triangles. And here in this problem, we have a man who is trying to measure the height of a building. And when this man is standing an unknown distance of X away from the building, the angle between the horizontal ground and the top of the building is equal to 45 degrees. Now, when this man steps back 50 feet, uh, the angle between the ground and the top of the building becomes 30 degrees. So using this information I have given you, uh, the question for this problem is, find the height of the building. And the height is represented by the letter H. So take out a piece of pen and paper if you feel like working on this problem. Take your time, pause the video if you need to, and I will show you the solution in five seconds. All right, so let's start solving this problem by looking at the 45 degree triangle and the 30 degree triangle separately. And we'll start by looking at the 45 degree triangle. And we know, since this is a 45 degree right triangle, that the angle at the top of the building is also going to be 45 degrees, because all of the angles of this triangle must equal 180. And since we have two angles that are 45 degrees, we also know that this is an isosceles triangle. And because we know this is an isosceles triangle, we know that the bottom side is going to be equal to the left side. So x is equal to h. All right, so now that we know that x is equal to h, now let's take a look at the other triangle that has a 30 degree angle. Well, we know that the top angle of this triangle must be 60 degrees because all angles in the triangle must add up to 180 degrees. And we also know from the diagram that the left side of this triangle is equal to the height of the building H. And now let's take a look at the bottom side of this triangle. This is the longer of the two legs of this right triangle. And we know from the properties of a 30, 60, 90 triangle that the longer leg is the square root of three times longer than the shorter leg. So the length of this leg is going to be the square root of three times H. And we also know from looking at our diagram that the length of this bottom side of the triangle is equal to the bottom of the 45 degree triangle, which is h, plus 50 feet. So the square root of 3 times h is also equal to h plus 50. And now we have an equation in which we can solve for h. So the first thing we can do is get all the h terms to one side of the equation. And we can do this by subtracting h from both sides. On the right side, the h's will cancel each other out. And on the left side, we have the square root of 3h minus h. And on the right side, we still have our 50. Um, now we can factor out an h on the left side of the equation, because both terms have an h in common. And once we do this, we have an h. And inside the parentheses, we have a square root of 3 and a minus 1 left over. Once again, the right side stays the same. We still have our 50. Now to get h by itself, we can divide both sides by the square root of 3 minus 1. And we get, on the left side, the square root of 3 minus 1 cancel each other out. And on the right side, we have 50 over the square root of 3 minus 1. This is the height of the building, the exact value. Um, if we approximate it, the height is going to be 68.3 feet. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I have many more just like it here in the screen, so check them out if you want. Also, I would love to hear your feedback. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below. Did you love it or did you hate it and want to see me do things differently? Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.